I think Black History Month is very important for us um, black people in the UK because we don't have, um, as a people, as a community, we don't have much identity in the UK today. And even when I was growing up, Yonge was a lot stronger in Liverpool City. But nowadays, it's, 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 um, we've got this diverse, you know, um, multicultural thing, which, is not, which, which has benefits. But at the same time, it's, we're almost ashamed now to identify as you know, as what we are as black people, African people, our own history, our own culture, our own, our own identity. I think it's important to reclaim our narratives because it's like if you look at um, every other culture, like Chinese, Arabs, Latino, even though they've got people that will write about their history and their culture, they've got their own writers. So there's an old saying, you know, um, those that win the war write the history. So you know, so so it's important that we tell our own stories. It's very it's very important we tell it so and we speak for ourselves because there's only certain things that only we know and only we can explain from our own perspective. So it's very, very important, man. And, and also as parents, as leaders, as um, you know, as people in the community that people look up to, so-called, is we have to take the leadership man and we have to speak and teach the truth and the facts because we can't depend on other people to tell the truth because if you look at history it hasn't been very kind to us all it's shown all, all it talks about like if you go to the international um, african-american museum in america it starts with slavery it starts with with the emancipation that's where it starts and we're, and we're the ancient people we're the most oldest people on earth even though even they will tell you that the original people the first people to walk the earth well in africa so if we're, if we're the original people going back how many years? Why does our history start with slavery? Also, just in regards to Black History Month, like, just that we've, like, if you look at every other people, like, white people, Latino people, Chinese, Arab people, Indian people, they don't have no history month because, because they know who they are. The fact that we need or that we've been bestowed or given a, a month for our own history, when we've got the greatest and longest history out of everyone anyway, sells itself because every day is Black History Month in reality. We need to take control of our narrative, one. Two, we need to get back to knowing who we are and not being ashamed of our, of, you know, of our, of our black skin, our curly hair, our thick lips, our wide nose. We need to love ourselves and not just say, but we need to actually love it and teach that to our kids. And the third thing is we need to read we need to learn, we need to study, because only serious people study. So that's the only way that we can reclaim our narrative if we study and we, you know, and we travel and we study and we, and we talk to each other and we exchange ideas.